I'm Steve Owens, Director of the Arizona Department of Environmental Equality. Asthma is the most common chronic disease in children in Arizona, and it afflicts over 600,000 people in our state every year. Children's exposure to harmful diesel exhaust is one of the primary asthma triggers in our state. That's why we've worked with school districts across the state of Arizona to establish our school bus idling initiative, which in very simple terms is really a no bus idling initiative. We've worked with school districts to establish a policy that simply has districts turn their buses off when we're picking up and dropping off our school children every day. Uh, children's exposure to harmful diesel exhaust uh, not only creates asthma triggers, but can cause long-term lung damage in children and lead to serious respiratory problems. Connor has severe persistent asthma and he was diagnosed around the age of two and a half and it, the first year he spent a number of months going back and forth to the doctors, the ERs and the urgent care um, until we could actually keep up with his asthma. So when Connor gets exposed to um, fumes of any kind, exhaust, whether it be a school bus or a car, he starts coughing, starts having difficulty breathing and needs to use his inhaler. When he was really young, he would have to take a breathing treatment because of it. For him, asthma is like raindrops in a bucket. There's only so many raindrops that his bucket can handle, and one thing can just push him over. Exhaust being that one thing is a big trigger for him. It's a miserable way for a child to start their day. Um, instantly they're using their arbuterol upon arrival of school then they can't sit still because arbuterol when they take arbuterol causes them to shake not be able to sit still not be able to concentrate well so children with asthma uh, when it's well controlled can live healthy lives um, but when they're having trouble it not only impacts on their health but it also impacts on their learning as well um, for instance uh, a child having an asthma attack will have to go to the nurse's office more often. Uh, they may even miss school because they're having difficulty breathing, or they just may not be able to concentrate as well because of the trouble they're having. The main things that we're doing to reduce emissions in the, the buses with the No Idling program is that we have buses when they arrive at the school if it's uh, at all feasible, we have them turn off the, the engine immediately. And of course, on really high temperature days or days that there's something odd going on in the environment, we may need to keep the buses running to uh, run our air conditioners or if we have a special ed students on board that we have to keep the, um, the ambient temperature inside the bus cool enough for them, then we'll allow the buses, of course, to idle at that time. But on a normal day, uh, we can just pull up to the school zone turn off the buses and we eliminate all that pollution around the schools. Uh, by doing that we eliminate well, five to seven minutes of bus idling a day and with my fleet of 150 buses that correlates to about ten thousand dollars a year in fuel that we're saving. If you're going to be someplace for more than five minutes before you have students on board you shut the bus down. Uh, Minimum standards from the Department of Public Safety say that any time a school bus driver is away from the school bus, the bus is turned off, he is taken out. So we sort of combine those two principles, have that five minute rule. You need to be a little flexible in, in doing this, uh, but the majority of the time when you uh, have your buses pull up to the bus lane, you can turn off the buses almost immediately and save a lot of pollution around the school so that the pollution does not get inside the classrooms, the students waiting there, um, and the driver themselves not being exposed to nearly as much uh, exhaust uh, fumes. Making a big deal on its first introduction to the group is of significant importance as well as regular, frequent, consistent refresher reminders. We've also found that as the new drivers come in and they hear this from the get-go, uh, the percentage of compliance steadily increases. I mean, it's a horrible, horrible thing for any child or adult to be subjective to. So I really just wish that 
all across the state, they would stop doing that and come up with alternatives that when they get to a school, they turn off their um, school bus. When they are on a field trip and they're lining those kids up to get onto the school bus, that they just don't run their school buses idle. No child should have to breathe that. Parents entrust uh, their children to the schools and their teachers, and schools have the responsibility of keeping them safe and creating a healthy learning environment. They can do this by creating policies that reduce children's exposure to emissions. In Arizona, we have uh, the new initiative of turning the brown to blue, uh, and I think this is a very good um, step in assisting uh, the state of Arizona to, to get back to the blue air. Uh, I think that's a, a noble and, and a, uh, a very responsible goal that we should have as, as directors, that we want to uh, provide safe transportation and give an environmentally quality um, ex experience to the, uh, the students that ride our bus. Our number one concern is a transportation department for Chandler School District, and this is the same across the valley and across the state and the nation, is safety. Safety for our employees, safety for our equipment, and most importantly, safety for the students we carry and the general public. And part of that safety is a concern for the health and well-being of these people. And if by implementing this policy of limiting school bus idling, we can reduce the amount of pollution that these people are exposed to, we're all for that. Our top priority at the Department of Environmental Quality is protecting the environment and the health and safety of our children. By working with school districts across the state of Arizona to implement the school bus idling program, not only are we cleaning the air, but we're protecting our children from exposure to harmful diesel emissions. That's why we need your help. We have over 150 school districts already participating in this program, but not every district is involved. We want every district in the state of Arizona involved in this program and we need your help. So please join us in this very important effort.